Right, listen, a few of you have asked, not a ton of you, because I'm first and foremost an Aroid channel. A few of you have asked for an update on my Hoya. And there's not a main reason I haven't given it to you. One, I know most people don't care about Hoya, so it's not been on the forefront of my mind to give you these updates. Second of all, to say they've had neglect is honestly an understatement, and I'm going to show you all of my Hoya today in complete and utter transparency. I say it all, slight caveat, some of them are still upstairs, okay? I have two actually hanging back here that hopefully I will remember to pick up for you. Um, in fact, I'll do it first so I don't, I don't forget. But some of them are still upstairs, and honestly, they're kind of doing all right, the ones that are hanging from the studio and stuff but all the little ones in the pots that's mainly what we're focusing on today I'll try and remember the names I might not even remember the names just being totally honest I've really dropped the ball on Hoya now the reason is it's not too much of a reason I really wanted Hoya in my house I think I'd said this a long time just because they're hardy they're tough blah 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 but what happened was I got a really expensive floor in my house right wood floor and I was very 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 concerned about the pollen hitting the floor and ruining it. Very, very concerned. Beautiful floor. If you've ever seen tiny snapshots of it, either on my channel or on my Instagram, whatever, it's gorgeous floor, right? It's beautiful. So I didn't want to ruin it. So as such, the Hoya just sort of just left my mind. And it's sad because some of my favorites have gone. It's really sad. But anyway, I'm going to give you an update in 150 million percent transparency, okay? But the story on what's happened to them is probably all going to be the same. Anyway, we'll get straight into it. I'll not keep you. So I've got this here because at some point I'm going to pick up a tray and put it there. So I realize this isn't the most aesthetic thing you've ever seen. But anyway, let's show you these two first. So I do remember this one. This was, what was it? Hoya Carnosa Compactor. Was it the Mauna Loa that's hard to get? Oh, I don't know if it's still hard to get. So literally, I have no idea. I have no idea. Can't remember what I paid for it. I got this... Was it 2020 or 2021 I had my Hoya kick? I don't know. I'd like to say it's 2020, but I'm not sure. So this is my Manaloa. And honestly, for the most part, it's it's all right. It's a bit dusty, but I think generally it's okay. This looks like very new growth. And what I will say for the new growth is it's actually quite compact. And I know it's a compactor. But you get my point, like some of this in its earlier days, I assume before me, because these grow very slowly, is not so compact. The bottom is the new growth look is quite compact. So all in all, this one, we're kind of starting out strong because this one's okay it's alive it's i wouldn't say it was thriving but it's certainly not dying or anything like that it's all right there are a couple of if i pick them off a couple of dead leaves but generally speaking guys you know it's all right now the mauna loa i do believe let me check by looking yeah so the special thing about the mauna loa is i think the variegation is on the inside of the leaf rather than the outside of the leaf. I do have, but I will now show you, which has not done well, let me tell you. Let me put that back for you. I'll show you this one. And I haven't even moved these for the video, by the way. They always actually live there. They always live there. This one has not done so good. It's it's not, it's really not. This one needs more water. This is the gorgeous Hoya Carnosa Compacta Albo Marginata. I'm making it up, can you tell? It's basically the Hoya Carnosa Compacta where the white is on the outside. So that's the main difference between that and the Mauna Loa. Let me just pick off some of this because it, it's dead, guys. Full proof, I did say I would give you this today in utter transparency, and I am. Now, this has never had a great start from the base of it, but it's all right, to be honest. It's funny, I fed it with my feed recently. Maybe that's why it's actually grown all right at the bottom. I'm not advocating to do this on Hoya um, and use my feed. I think some of you said they had. Uh, I don't know. Let me know how that's gone for you because I, I don't, like, here's my feed here. I don't make it for Hoya. I make it for tropical house plants, and in general, it works across all of them. Some better than others, obviously. Like, it's not so good on Spathophyllum as it is Philodendron. Dendron. still works fine you know what i mean it's just not optimal but i put it on higher a while ago and i guess the the new growth looks nice <laughs> so i'm not attributing it just to that it could just be the right temperature or, or whatever have you but the bottom it is quite good i'll just show you that up close it's quite decent actually but the rest of it to say it suffered is an understatement which is a shame because i really like this maybe something like this is something i could have at the house if I went and maybe found more of it, made it a bit thicker and made it cuter because I just can't see it flowering that soon. Has it ever? Has it ever? Can't see any peduncles on here. So maybe it hasn't. So maybe we're safe. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But don't be thinking that these higher aren't absolutely ruined because a lot of them are. So this is nothing, okay? This is just what I've had hanging. So I'll put this one back for you. Put that back in there like so. Ooh, lecker. Right. I've got one tray that's good, one tray that is worse. I'm going to do the better tray first because... I believe in motivating us to get through this video, okay? So let me pick up the good tray. Like so, it's not horrific, but I've definitely had one death and it's a big shame because it was one of my favorites. 
but this is one of the trays. I can't really tilt it. The best I can give you is that there. So we have actually had a lot of growth on this, but it is, you know, it's a bit jungle vibes, to be honest. Some of them have done really well. Some of them haven't. So I guess if nothing else, guys, take this video as do they survive on neglect? And how well? Because to be honest, a lot of Hoya tend to. I knew the ones that wouldn't, and it's no surprise the ones that are dead to me, but I'm gonna show you them in a sec. One thing I will do before that, because I've forgotten this one exists as well. This one always hangs on the edge of my shelves. Hang on, I've got another plant growing in it. There we go. This guy here is, ah, Hoya. Is it Kentiana or is it the other one? Can't remember. Could be Kentiana variegata. Don't know. It's variegated on the inside, dark on the outside. I have one that is way prettier, way prettier. Um, and I can't remember the name of it. But this one's barely done anything. It's been watered, obviously, but it's just not done much. It's very, very small. I'm pretty sure you can get these in garden centers, by the way. Super easy, much bigger, much prettier. But I think at the time, you've got to remember the time I got this. I, I want to say they were mainly 2020 and they were hard to get. You couldn't really get big, voluptuous, you know, pots of stuff. Now, I know in America, you guys have actually had a good selection of Hoya for a long time, I feel like. Whenever I see people do like garden center halls and, you know, stuff like that, like tours of garden centers, you've always got quite a like a bountiful supply of Hoya. It's never really been like that here, I wouldn't say. Definitely less so. so certain Hoya, yes, you can get nice, juicy pots of it, but a lot of the time you can't, so... It just depends, right? Oh, that's a shame. That's done terribly. Oh, they both have. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to grab two at a time. And this is a bit of a shame because these were definitely one of my favorites. It's not horrific, but again, complete transparency. They're not good. So these two should be Hoya Grey Ghost. I do think. Yes, they are. Uh, it's, it's not done the best, guys. You can see it's not a great color. That's my heater. That's going to be here for a while. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud. I can't turn it off. So I'm going to have to shout over it. My deepest apologies. So these haven't done unbelievably well. They're not dead. Okay. That's, that's honestly, trust me, that's not bad because a lot of these are dead. Although the ones that are really dead, to be honest, they're in Lekka. Mmm. So maybe that's why they died. But yeah, this is higher Grey Ghost and it's, it could be worse, you know, it really could be worse. I'm not saying it's great because it's not, but I can obviously take cuttings of these, root them, make a new plan and it would all be good and it would all be fine. And I should really try and keep these in better condition than what they have been, to be honest. And I will try guys, honestly, you've got my word, I will try. Right, hang on, because they're so tangled. I don't want to pick the wrong plant up, right. Oh, wow. So they've definitely had growth, I will definitely say that let me just <laughs> wow okay so this is a not amazing specimen of what i assume to be hoya carnosa wilbur graves i can see that i do think from this bit here and this bit's actually quite healthy this side here i mean it's not unhealthy it's just shit genetics really because it should have been cut obviously if you can see all this it's pretty green it's not the best but this here however is a lot better and it's a lot more of what you'd like to see from a wilbur now notice it is not pink it is not pink at all um i think that's a heat thing but i'm not 100 sure as for the whole thing it's grown okay i guess remember this is 100 percent complete neglect they would get watered every like four months it was bad okay i'm not proud of it it was bad so he's grown okay considering i think if i was ever going to tidy this up I mean, I'd probably just propagate these for shits and giggles, really. But I would definitely be looking to cut into this part here and have this grow a lot nicer and juicier. It's not the worst looking thing in the world. It's not. So put him back. Right, should we show you our first complete death? And this is really sad because I loved this. This was one of my favorites, but it just goes to show this one is not as strong as the others. This was, um, was it Hoya, Hoyshkeliana variegata? I fucking love this thing, right? I did, I did. I loved it and it's one of the first things to die, but it was a lot more small. It was a little bit more water loving, you know, you get the picture, so it was gonna die. So I'm not gonna linger on this because I don't really know what you want from this. I can't give you anything from this it's dead, you know what I mean? Um, and it's such a shame because honestly, it was one of my favorites, really one of my favorites. So that's dead as hell. What have we got? Oh, on a, on a lighter note, we have this guy. And I actually, this is another one of my favorites and I'm actually really pleased this is alive, but I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what this is called. <sighs> it's a higher like Kentiana, but the variegation, again, it's the opposite of the other one. Where'd the other one go? Here. I can't remember. It's got that, it's like Anne, Anne Lynn or something, Lynn, something, Laurie Lynn. Laurie Lynn? Is it Laurie Lynn? Is it Laurie Lynn? Basically, 
The difference is this one's variegated on the inside. This one's variegated on the outside. This one was at some given point, very difficult to get. And look how cute this little plant has grown. I, oh, I love that. And it always comes in really blush and pink. And honestly, it's done that the entire time, whereas other plants haven't. Credit to it, it's always come out really pretty. Well, I might have to like actually take one of these home because it's not gonna flower yet, right? There's no peduncles, like probably way off it. But yeah, he has always been gorgeous. Different from that, Hoya lovers, there you go. It is Laurie Lynn, isn't it? My brain's saying Laurie Lynn. I can't be 100% certain, but I, I think it is. And yeah, I, I'm so pleased that this has lived, to be honest, this is very, very pretty, very, very pretty. So put her back, she's cute. I have another Wilbur Graves here that admittedly does actually look a bit nicer. Um, it's, it's had more of a flack, as in like more damage, but it's got better genetics. And you know what, there is a little bit of pink on this one. Hopefully you can see a tinge of pink on those leaves there. That's the rest of the plant. So again, we do have some crispies. I'm literally picking off the crap as I'm showing you these. This is not so good here, but generally this is very salvageable. And again, if I was gonna make a nice Wilbur, I'd certainly be looking at this part here and not really this part here, cutting it down, trying to get some cute little vines off it and making another one, which I could totally do. If you want me to do a video where I try and rescue these and propagate them, whatever have you, give me some pointers, I'll happily do the video because I do literally have enough Wilbur to probably make a very pretty one. Maybe I should do that, you know, because I really like these plants. Please don't think I don't like Hoya anymore, I do. It just got to a point where there was just no necessity to have it and obviously the other stuff has to take over, right? But anyway, I'll pop him down. Uh, what else do we have? This, oh, I love this. Hang on guys, I think I've got two of them. I do have two of them, hang on. You're gonna have to bear with me because literally, hopefully you can see what's happening here, but there is a lot of extra going on. So I pick him up like this, but also the other guy who has got stunning genetics at the beginning. I hope he's continued to live his best life. Hang on guys. Well, I know exactly where I would cut this guy back. So this is another favorite of mine and this is actually one of my favorites of all time. Um, yeah, that's just gone off, thank God. We've got some time. So full disclosure, this one is a vine and then it has where my knee is a rogue bit of leafage, I guess. And this one's not much better. But this here, honestly, I really like this plant still. This is, ah, uh, Hoya, A-H, oh, seven, Four. It's something like that. If it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just think of it as cute rather than annoying, please. I think it's AH074, AH076, or 72. It's either 74 or 76. I'm gonna lock in four. I think it's all seven four. Brain is saying that, not sure. But I really, really like this. This is gorgeous. I could actually just pot this and have this at home. Very, very pretty. I can't even tell you why I like it so much. I just really do. This, obviously, genetics, not as good as this guy. This guy's fantastic. But these have done all right. Obviously, they are due a trim but they've done all right. They're obviously living their best neglectful lives up here on the table. Let me put this back. Oh, what's this one? So this is dead. I think, I don't know what that is. I have a sneaky suspicion. It's one of my favorites, which, which would be the Hoya polyneura, the fishtail Hoya. I have it. I'm not 100% certain, but I think maybe, I think maybe by the way that this is just sort of sitting, can't be certain. It could be something totally different, to be honest. Hmm. I'm skeptical, I actually don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but it's dead, so that's fun. Right, what else have we got? Oh, so this is, oh, I wish I could remember this. I love this. Oh man, one of my faves, one of my faves. I know I'm saying it about every hire, but this is one of my faves and I can't remember the name. Is it Crassa, Crassa Petiolata? Am I making this shit up? I feel like I'm making this shit up. It's, uh, Crassa Petiolata, is that a different one? I don't know, I don't know what it is. ID it for me guys, please, 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 please. I will try and do some IDing when I edit this. I honestly, I will try, but I might not know what they are because I'll basically have to guess what I think it is. And then if it doesn't refire it back to me on Google, then I don't know what it is. But it's something like Crassio Petiolata, or maybe that's a different one. But I also really like this because I actually like the veinage in it. See, I'm saying these are super ne like neglected. Some of them look gorgeous. So this is early on leaves that should be like dying out and they're not. The, some of the really early ones are quite shit, but they're actually, like that's quite sexy, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's quite beautiful, actually. It's almost thumbnail worthy. What is going on? I guarantee you this other tree, absolute shite. But this one is very, very cute and I still like it. It's just very, very visually interesting to look at. And to be honest, on camera, it's coming off very interesting as well. It's coming off like it's got a lot of dimension. So we like that one. 
I think this one is... It's not a Wilbur. This one here, I do believe, is Hoya Carnosa Stardust. Looks like it to me, which is basically just a Carnosa with a lot of silver on it, I guess. I really, really like it. It was one of my favorites at one point. I think it was over the Wilbur. The genetics haven't really carried on amazingly, so I would be looking to maybe cut it back. But it's, it's nice enough. Hasn't grown as much as the other ones, funny enough. But the growth is nice and dark and glossy. Look how dark that is. See that? Please focus. It looks decent, the, the depth of color. So given everything it has gone through. I'm a little bit surprised at that. So I think that's that whole tray, pretty much. I think this one, oh, this is slightly different. This was Hoya Carnosa Freckles or Freckles Splash or something like that. Basically, again, another Hoya Carnosa with a tiny bit of silver. This is the point where I thought, ooh, are these bullshit names kind of thing. I'm still undecided on that because I haven't done my research, admittedly. But that's the difference with that one. That's a little bit more sort of silvery like that. So it's, it's grown all right. Actually, it's definitely grown better than the other one. I will say that. Because remember, everything in here has had basically the same care. So it kind of tells you how well certain things have sort of stood up to the test of time. I don't know if I can bring this any closer for you. Can I? Maybe. See if I can just bring this forward a bit. Maybe we can do something like that. Can we? Uh, yeah. Let's keep it like that. And let's just sort of have them in the background. So this is them. That tray, admittedly, not so bad. I will give you that. It's not so bad. This next tray is a bit more shit, actually. We will get that down for you. I do think I had a third tray because I started propagating stuff. I think the third tray was all dead. Like, I can't even find it anymore. We'll put this one down because this was definitely the nicer tray. Oh, dear. That is so heavy it's actually gonna fall off that's not good is it oh lord it's gonna be a nightmare putting it all back because it was growing in a way where it balanced itself out and nothing wanted to fall but i've come along and i've foiled those plans haven't i the next one this this is not so good guys this is not so good i will do my best to try and tell you what things are and again absolutely not all of my hoya at all because I have some upstairs that have grown honestly quite nice. I think I've got like a Hoya, is it Parvi Flora upstairs? It's nice. I can see a, uh, it's not a Kerry Eye. Is it Kerry Eye? No, it's the De De Deiki Eye. It's also heart shaped. I've got that upstairs. I've got a Sunrise upstairs. It's really nice. I've got a, uh, I think it's called Bertoni Eye, or there's another name for it as well. I've got that upstairs. I've got a few upstairs and honestly they are doing quite nice. These are definitely the, the least, least good. So here I can definitely see that these were polyneura and that's very sad because honestly if i bought higher again i'm telling you it's the first ones i'd get these 100 percent were polyneura and the reason these will have been dead is because most higher lovers will know these were always more water loving i knew that at the time but obviously they all got the same treatment so it's kind of about what survived and what didn't this i don't know what the hell this is I can't even tell you. I can tell you that it's absolutely starved of all things good. Um, it almost looks like, oh, Publicalix almost. I don't want to say it definitely is, but it, it looks a bit like Publicalix, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. I could be so wrong about this. I don't really know what that is. Again, it's it's pretty it's pretty whack, that one. I don't know what that is. I'll not pick up every single dead plant, by the way. Um, what else have I got? Now, some things I've got here that are alive. And I cannot remember for the life of me the name of the Hoyer I'm about to hold up. It annoys me because I used to know and now I don't know. Now, this is quite dead. It's not dead, but you know. These leaves are long and thin and veiny here. I feel like I want to say it begins with G, but I'm probably lying to you. They're long and thin and veiny, and on the underside, they're very furry. Very, very furry and fluffy. And I think I picked this up from Netherlands a long time ago. Now, if I wanted to revive this, I've got no issues. I know this looks terrible, but honestly, guys, I've got so much of it growing. It's actually been one of the top growers in, you know, the neglect category, should we say, that I've had. So again, even though this is neglectful of me, this is, can you see the fur on the inside of it? I wonder if you can. i just rotate it. Maybe you can see the fur. I hope you can. It'd be cool if you could. But this has grown quite well and it's quite dark for the most part. Yeah, all right. It, it looks shit. But you know what I mean? It's not dead, guys. It's not dead. So that's that. You know, all the spirit of positivity. Now, I thought I had some sunrise propagations down here, but I actually can't see them now. Uh, maybe they've died. Maybe they've died. Let me just triple check to make sure I haven't mysteriously forgotten and there's not extra hoya somewhere. Nope, there definitely isn't. Okay, so this is all that's left of all the itty bitty bits that I have. So I have a ton more of whatever this was called, ton more of the one I've just held up. Like literally here I've got more that's been growing. Growing is a strong word, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. I've got loads of that. 
absolutely loads. It's genuinely not thrived, but in terms of how badly I've treated it, it almost has. I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, I've had a Matilda at some point that's dead. That's actually got a label in that one. What does that say? That says Clemensorium. I did have. That's dead. That's a nice little crispy puddle. But what is this though? I really don't know what this is. If you could help me ID this, that'd be great. I've got two of them. They're very, very round and very, very speckly. So let me know what this is. Oh, I think that's another one I've got upstairs. I've just remembered. I think I've got that macrofilum, uh, macrofilum, macrofilum upstairs as well. It's very nice. Um, I will at some point show you the rest of them. If you really want that off the end of this video, let me know. And for the extra video that when I next do one, I'll do them on the ones upstairs and I'll bring them down because they should be in significantly better condition and they are significantly bigger higher. So if you are interested in that, do let me know. But yeah, I don't know what that is. What is it, guys? Answers on a postcard. What is it? I don't really know. Does it go a bit pinky? Yes, the silver does go pink, but that's probably a higher thing rather than anything else. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Now that I would say is pretty much most of the higher. I would love to tilt this up for you, but I kind of can't. I don't know if this is the same or not. Is it? I've just got stuff and I don't, like, I don't know what it is. I haven't got a clue what these things are, but that's basically the state of them. I mean, I think this was higher Matilda. Literally, you can probably tell. Bit of a shame, because I actually really liked that. That's dead as a door now. Uh, it is what it is, guys. And you know what? It's sad, but it's life, okay? And in a lot of cases, these do look quite shit. But in a lot of cases, I have enough to make more. Now, the things that I really genuinely miss would be the... Uh, the Heusch Kaliana that I talked about at the beginning. And absolutely Polyneura. I would love another Polyneura. I really would. Maybe I need to get one online because they're so gorgeous. They are more water loving, but they're worth it. They're worth it. They were on a wish list years ago. Maybe I might put that on my new wish list. But that's essentially my Hoya. Uh, that's why you haven't really had an update. Nothing really to hide. Most of them are looking shit. Admittedly, the other tray are looking quite good. Some of them are actually thriving. But that's generally the tea on the Hoya. So I hope you enjoyed this extra video if you were curious. I hope I've answered your curiosities. Would I get back into Hoya again? I would like to. My genuine problem is I wouldn't keep them here. I'd keep them at home and I need to make sure I can hang them somewhere that the cats can't get to and make sure they don't ruin my floor. So maybe don't hold your breath for it is what I'll say. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I can get my shelves up, maybe there's some room for some nice Hoya. I'm not really sure. At some point as well, I will update you on the studio plants. They've had neglect here and there, but ultimately they're doing quite well. So at some point I will do that for you as well as extra. So thank you very much for watching this extra video, guys. I really appreciate it. Please leave any comments or identifications you'd like to in the comments below. Uh, my feed is in the description. My merch is in the description. And I guess I will see you probably Friday for the next one. Bye, guys.